Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to rotoscope in After Effects using Mocha. So first of all I'm going to drag my clip into a new composition and then with that layer selected I'm going to go up to animation and then I'm going to click on track in Mocha AE. So that's going to pop up with Mocha and new project. I'm just going to leave all the settings as default and I'm going to click on OK. So once you're in Mocha, you've got your timeline here that you can scrub through. So basically what I want to do is I want to roto this white area of this uh, traffic sign. At the top, you can either use a X-spline or you can also use a Bezier curve. But for this, I'm just going to use the X-spline. So I'm going to click on this one here at the top. And we can also zoom in here. Let's click on the magnifying glass and just click and drag to zoom in a bit. And uh, then I'm going to click on the X-spline and I'm just going to create three points. So one there one there, one there, and then you can just right click to go out of that. Then with your selection tool, we can click on one of these points and you can move it around. And here at the top, it will show you a bit of a magnification of that point. And you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to fine tune that. So I'm just gonna go through all these points and make sure that they on the right uh, points. So currently we've got these curved corners and uh, you can take these blue lines and just click and drag them to change that uh, corner to either a corner or a curve. So I'm just going to pull them uh, so that we've got a nice corner, all three of them. And then here at the bottom, you've got your tracking tools. So you can either track one frame forward or you can click on track forward to go through your whole timeline. So this is a really simple roto. So I'm just going to click on track forward and let's see what happens. So the tracking finished and as you can see, we've got some good results. Um, but we can go to the end and just double check all these points. So we can see that point is a little bit off. So I'm just going to use my arrow keys to correct that point uh, to create a keyframe as well. And I'm just going to go through all the points and do the same. I'm just going to pull down here a bit and check that top point as well. So you can basically create some keyframes here on the timeline to adjust or to correct your roto shape. So it's really simple, just create a few uh, keyframes and that will ensure that your uh, roto shape is very good. So I'm just going to go through here and correct some of these, just slight corrections. So I'm just going to play through this again to double check my roto. So another thing that you can do in Mocha is you can create different masks um, as different layers and then you can either combine those layers into one roto shape or you can export them separately. But for this example, I'm just going to use one shape layer and I'm going to export this as a mask. So once we're happy with our roto in Mocha, I'm going to go down here to the bottom where it says export shape data. Click on that and then make sure this is on Mocha shape data for After Effects. And then I'm going to click on copy to clipboard. OK, and then I'm going to go back into After Effects and I'm going to duplicate this layer because I want to add a mask to the top layer. So I'm going to press command D to duplicate that. And then very importantly, you need to make sure that you're on the first frame when you paste that mask. So I'm going to go back to the first frame and then with that top layer selected, I'm going to go to edit and then I'm going to click on paste mocha mask. OK, so that's going to paste that mask. If I disable this bottom layer, you'll see that we've got that mask on that top layer. So if I play through this, you'll see that we've got a perfect roto shape on that layer. So now we can go and affect only that portion of the clip. So let's say we add an exposure effect on that top layer. We can change the exposure only of that section. And as you can see, the mask is pretty solid. So the nice thing about working uh, this way is you can go into this clip properties, go into masks and you'll have all your keyframes there. So you can go in here and change the feather on that mask or you can also use the mask opacity or the mask expansion right here in After Effects without going back into Mocha. So yeah, Mocha is really powerful for doing rotoscoping work right from After Effects. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and remember to click on that subscribe button. Cool, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.